Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you being here. We're going to go ahead and share the screen. And what we have here is a list from the companies that we found using a stock screener. And I'll just show you what that's about. So what we have done every day we go on here and we set two criteria to find stocks, quality companies at a discount. So what, how we do that, we get 30% or more below the high, and then we go to descriptive and we go over 20 and that's it. There's a lot of different uh, criteria here. We just use these two and then we get uh, results 309. Obviously these are not all quality companies. There's still work for us to do, but these give us 30% off from the high. And as an investor, we want to make money. So the idea or the concept is for these companies to bounce back. If they bounce back to the high, we get the 30% or more that they bounce from, if that makes sense. So then from there, what we do is when we get a company that we like, and the other part about that, you know, we, we enter the symbols here and see if it outpaces the market. And then we see the PE and then we see the range the low to high to see our timing. Because obviously when we do this search, we're probably not gonna be in line to the low, which we want, but it's gonna be somewhere in the middle usually. So, so some keep note of, you know, and as investors, we just like to note these things. So then when it is time to buy, then we're ready. And that's a lot of, a lot of the whole thing to it, you know, you, Timing is essential with stock. It's the to be successful in stock, you have to. It's done by percentages from the low, so you're buying low and selling high. So what I've done here is listed the companies. We have eleven companies that we're going to look at today in a greater detail. The first one is IIPR. If you don't know what the this company is, this company leases the land for marijuana growers so basically this is a new concept that america started legalizing marijuana not only for medical use but for recreation as well so what does that mean it's an expanding market more importantly they don't get involved in the aggressive buying and selling and all that they just simply lease the land for the people the the business owners that want to get involved with it so I think it's an excellent business model, and I think in 2030 it'll be one of the my top 25 picks to to give the investor the greatest amount of return. That's just in my opinion, but that's what I feel. So basically, so what we have here is in box D is the formula, and how you do this is equals Google Finance and then the stock symbol. So this is a formula using Google Sheets, and this taps into the marketplace. As you can see, the market will change the price accordingly and automatically, more importantly. So the legwork is done for you. And if you want help setting up a sheet like that, I'm more than happy to do that. That's a service that I do offer because I know that being successful in the market is very tricky. A lot of people hire financial advisors or they feel like they don't have the time I'm here to give you that time and to give you the knowledge and how to be successful in stock. So we can set this up for you in a way that you want and, and managed by me to help you out. So we got to go ahead. And if your goal is 20%, which that's my personal goal, you know, I want at least 20%. So from this stock, we need the stock share price to go up 20%. So we needed to go to 118.37 over long-term. Actually, we don't even need it to do that because this stock has a yield. So what does that mean? That offers a dividend, which means that every three months we get paid out. So we, if we dividend, do dividend reinvestment, we get shares from the company. So this number <clears throat> will, I mean, it's called, it's leverage. You'll get this number quicker by getting more shares added to uh, our initial investment. So that's what we have here. 
we have the 118. 75, this, this number here in G is a number where when we found the stock, this is when, this is that number on that given day. So as you can see, like just a few weeks ago, it was 75 and now it shot up to 98.64. We want, you know, if you invest today, I'm just figuring this number from that. So 20% increase would be 118.37 a share. And then what we do is try to get a score on how likely 118.37 will be. So basic, what we do is we just use Yahoo Finance and all the tools that I'm gonna show you today are free. So we bring up IIPR, we go up summary, we go five years. And this is the, all the prices, low and high, over the last five years. And as you can see, it was 279. So this stock was trading at 279 at one given time in November 2021. It's now 100. So the likelihood of it rebounding is good. We can go ahead and look at the earnings for share just to see what they were back then. And this is the quarterly earnings, $1.46, $1.45, $1.47, And then we see what they were in 21. So no, no real change there, nothing that would have spiked an in interest from investors just based on earnings so i give the score an a of likelihood of it rebounding knowing that it's an expanding market and then the other part of that we're doing today is we're going to do a quick evaluation and how do we do that we take the enterprise value divided by the outstanding shares and then we get the quick evaluation so it's a $3 billion company. The enterprise value, by the way, is the total value. All the assets, everything combined is the enterprise value divided by the outstanding shares is that number there, 107. We always want this number to be greater because that's like the ceiling. And right now it's a $98 stock. So they have a little room. And this number always changes, keep in mind, uh, you know, as they buy more land, the lease out. The, you know, the enterprise value increases and depending on what they want to do with the shares will depend on the quick evaluation. So based on that, I'm giving IIPR and A as far, and then the other things we have to do, we're going to get into timing, target price, the earning per share growth rate and the free cash. And then there's other things down the line too that we're going to look at, but we'll, this is like a canvas and we're doing a painting and we're going to fill in the details as we go on. And that's literally what I do day to day with the positions that I own. You know, it's not a one and done deal. There's work to do when, when investors mention homework, this is what they're talking about. This is the legwork that, that we need to do as investors to make sure our dollars are being treated accordingly. Okay, MedFast is the next one on the list. It's a $66 company right now. If we want our 20%, we get, that'd be $80. There were 65, so it went up a little bit since it was recommended or we added to the sheet. Here's the current yield, 9.14. We did a quick evaluation of it. The enterprise value is $608 million and they have 11,000 outstanding shares. So the quick evaluation is $55. And you're right, this part should just be a number. Shares aren't evaluated in dollars. Everything else is, so that looks good. 
And then we go to the next one. So JCI, so same thing here. Oh yeah, and then if I do MedFast now, that's 55s, which is lower. So there's a reason for that, right? So I'm not gonna give it an A. And then the other thing, obviously we have to go ahead and then we look at MedFast, look at their price. At one time, they were $338. So there's a good chance that it might rebound depending on like the earnings and everything else. See what that looks like. See why they had this spike back in 2021. Med fast, here we go. Okay, 212, 278, 330, $4. Two. Nothing really significant. I mean, yeah, 238, 349, $4 is nice. That, that is a nice jump for sure. But other than that, I don't see why it exploded like it did. So I would take you know further research and evaluation. But for right now, it's a $55. We needed to go to 80. So therefore, I'm, I'm going to give it a C. And then we'll do the next one. Johnson Controls. And I'll show you how to do the evaluation. And then Friday, we'll get into it again. And like I said, we'll paint the canvas even more, get, giving it more details. We'll start with the price. We'll go out five years. So how likely again? So what are we asking ourselves? We want it to go to 64.26, giving us that 20%. How likely is that going to be at 64? Well, short time ago, it was 80. So, and then let's see, earlier in the year, it was 68. We needed to go 64. So already I'm, I'm thinking giving it an A. Because I definitely think it's likely that Johnson Controls will hit that number. We'll go ahead now and find the statistics. We go statistics for the enterprise value. Enterprise value is forty-four billion. Forty-four billion, and then you have outstanding shares. So you just scroll down for that. Outstanding shares, 680 million. Boom. And then boom. So it's a $65 company. It's $53. We want it 64. You give it an A plus if you want. I think it's an outstanding outlook on this company. And that'll wrap it up for today's episode, you know, and we'll go on and we'll check out these other companies that we found out. And tomorrow we'll get right back on it on Finviz and then we'll go through the screener and set up more companies and then we'll start comparing them and stuff like that and really evaluating and finding out what our next investment, uh, what the risk factors are and research it and find out what we want to invest in next. Have a great day, guys. Bye.